camera. Yes, I have. Ah, uh, yes, I have. Hello, hello. Good morning. Happy Monday, sunny day. Welcome to the Shack Shack. We are in Camelot. Yeah, we're still there. This tapestry is taking longer than we anticipated, but that's okay. It's a vehicle for learning lots of tricks and tips and hanging out with each other, isn't it? Come on in. Anybody there apart from me? Early to the party today. Quite, I'm tired. Long day yesterday up in the TV studios, but it was uh, it was so enjoyable. I really loved being back up there with the with the team. Don't realise how much you uh, how much you appreciate people until you don't see them for a while. You know, so that's another good thing that's come out of the lockdown. Good morning. Hello from sunny Redditch. Hello, Catherine. Good morning, everybody. Great to have your company. Glynis, Helen. Ah, isn't it lovely, Elaine? Nice to have your company. I was thinking the group was going to get smaller and smaller here, but it will, and that's okay. People are going out. People are getting fed up with me hanging around in Camelot. <laughs> that's fine, too. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good, isn't it? The cats were funny yesterday and today they're very clingy. Bit of an abandonment issue thing going on here, you know, with Ragnar and Eric. Yeah. Um, won't leave me alone now. I'd never been away from them, see, since they came to us as little abandoned orphans from, from Gina B. And um, yeah, funny, funny little animals. Lovely though. It's nice to be appreciated, isn't it? Nice to be missed. Come on in. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Hilary. Lovely to have your company. I'm just seeing names flying through. Good morning, everybody. And it's lovely that you're coming in anyway. This twice a week is working, isn't it? I was going to say to you, is the port sound? Is it sound? It, Paul, is the sound all right? Yes, it is. Good. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so just leaping ahead a little bit, I thought that this week we would tie up in a big bow, Camelot, and then next week we'll we'll move on to, to something else. Um, so it's been a good one, though. And I guess because we only get together twice a week, it seems to go on for weeks, doesn't it? Whereas before, when we were hanging out five days, um, you know, we could do these big mammoth projects like Japan and Africa. Do you remember? It's okay, though. It doesn't matter what we do, does it? The primary purpose of hanging out in the shack, shack, is to be safe, happy, and creative. And that's what we are. So, got your tea, got your paper, and then we'll get going. Ah, nectar. Did you watch the TV yesterday in the craft store? I've, it was such a good show. You know, like timing, Alex was great. It was just great. It was, it, it will take me a week to unpack again because I took everything, you know. I'm so used to working on my own and being the director. Do you see me reaching for the cameras all the time? That was comical. I kept reaching across to, to, to switch from camera to camera. <laughs> Nada. Um, but thank you very much for watching if you did, and thank you even more for buying if you did, because uh, that's what keeps this old clarity um, barge afloat, you know, is your support. Anyway, now let me see, where were we? If I'm a little bit disjointed today, that'll be because I'm feeling it now. I'm feeling it, and uh, it'll be fine. It'll just take me a couple of days. It always does. It always does after a TV show. I don't ping back like I used to. It's all right, though. So let's have a look. Is it 10 o'clock? It sure is. Let's get going. And I thought it would be nice, just as a little warm-up, I thought it would be good to um, do one of those scrolls again. You know, I think we, we enjoy the scrolls, don't we? Where am I looking? Yeah, number two, AC. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll clear it up later. Right, number two. Um, so what we've got here, let's have a little recap. Right, here we go. It does look lovely, you've got to admit. Did you see the clouds on the telly yesterday that with the beautiful butterflies? Same sketch, 
Just this was using pencils, wasn't it? So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Doing the horses today. We're back in the, we're back on the horses today. <laughs> right, but I thought to warm up, how do you fancy, because I see on Facebook, I know you really enjoyed making these scrolls, didn't you? You know, so we did that one, which you can catch up on. Paul will give you the links if you're, if you're wondering what I'm talking about. It was quite an easy one, that one, wasn't it? Um, and then we tried a couple of other ones and there was one that we hadn't done. So we put them all, we got them all done, right? All this, we've done all that, haven't we? We did number one and number two. Let's have a look at my bits and pieces. Let me just get my bits and pieces out. There we go. This is what we did and this is what we're going to do. Right, here we go. So we did number one and we did number two, these scrolls, right? And we did number three. But we didn't do number four. So I thought, let's start with number four. Just to get our eye in. You know how it is. You know how it is. You haven't done anything for a few days. Did you have a good weekend? It hit down yesterday. When we were leaving the studio, it persisted. And uh, Dave got soaked getting the stuff from the, from the building to the, to the car. So you trenched like to the skin. Um, yeah, it was bad. Um, and that was in Peterborough. And down here in Kent, it was it was fine. My mum and dad said the, the sun was shining. Hey, you just don't know, do you? If you don't like the English weather, you know what they say, just wait a minute. And Dave actually said, God, if we'd only waited five minutes, because then it was there was a beautiful rainbow. And and it stopped raining, of course. Right, come on then, let's do this scroll. So what we need is a piece of, all you need to join in in the Shack Shack is um, a piece of copy paper and a pencil. There you go. That's it. No fees. No stash. Just you and me, a piece of copy paper and a pencil. And we'll try that number four. We'll try that number four um, scroll. Yeah? Do you fancy that? There it is. Let's have a look at it. We'll break it down because they're easier when you break them down, aren't they? Now this one, let's try two things. Okay, let's try two things. Let's just try the scroll first and see where we go. Right, are you ready to start then? Happy to start? Okay, now let's have a look. We'll turn it round that way and then maybe we'll get a bit more in. That's it. So what we're going to do, get the right glasses first. We're going to do this scroll. Right, we'll do it a few times because you get your eye in then. Right, so the thing to do is we're going to do a scroll like that. Right, I'll show you. I'll do it with a heavy pencil. Not that one. Let me get a heavier pencil so you can see it. Is that a heavy pencil? Yeah, that's heavier. All right, so see if you can see this. So you go like that, like that, and then you go over and you go like that and like that. So it's one, two, round you go and back the other way. And we're traveling, if you like, clockwise. So you're traveling clockwise and that's all you're gonna do. Let's try it on a clean bit of paper. You ready? So you go one, two, and then round you go. And then as you come round, one, two. One. I should have done a bit more over that side. But it's all right. I can make it a bit tighter. There you go. Can you see that? Paul, can we see that? Or am I too far away? Could you just let me know? I've got a feeling I might need to come in a little bit tighter. Come in a little bit tighter, Barbara. How's that? Let's give it another go. Here. No, let's do this one here, right? So we're going to go one, two, one, two, round, one, two. That's it. Okay. Clockwise that way. And then anti-clock. No, it's still going clockwise, silly girl. <laughs> don't. Just ignore me today, all right? <laughs> just don't take your finger. Just keep going clockwise. Right, so once you've done that, Got a snail at that end, round you go, snail at that end. Then we're going to go like that, 
and like that. So you've got your end bits here. Then we're going to go, uh, let me just get my eye in now. Then we're going to go, oh yeah, like that as well and like that. Because of course that's the scrolly bit. And we might as well round off the end as well. So it needs to be kind of symmetrical, like it's tubular, isn't it? So it needs to be kind of the same. And then this one needs to kind of go with the flow. So it's like a mirror of the top one. So he starts up a little bit higher up here, see, right? And then it goes up like that and down like that in the middle and then up like that again. So it's like that. It's a wave. See? Like that. So you could, it's like, hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> Those really bad, low-budget Robin Hood, Hood films. <laughs> right, now you've got to sort out the, the scrolling bit. So this is easy. Just think about it's a, it's rolled around. So when it gets in there, it's got to go like that. See? Scrolling. And on this side, it goes like that, goes like that, and then it goes like that. See? Scrolling. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's so easy. So easy. Right. Now, so we went, we went, we're going to do a couple, a couple of different ones now. So now we'll keep going clockwise, but this time we'll try and get a bit of perspective on it. So we'll do this again. Yeah. Okay. Just do this again, but do it at a kind of a jaunty angle. So we're going to go clockwise again. One, two, and then we'll go up a bit and then we'll go one, two there, like that. Okay. And then this time, We'll come down on that one the same, yeah? But this one, we'll only make it smaller. We'll make it smaller up here, okay? Like that. There you go. And then this one's a bit bigger. So this time, we're going to make it look as if it's further away. Still got to get the same kind of... This one's not got such a curve on it. So you're just going to go with whatever you've drawn, right? So same sort of curve, it goes like that, like that, and then, but it comes up like that, look, there. So now it looks as if it's further away up there. Looks like that. this is the way you do the, the, the long part of a violin as well. And then my favourite bit is this bit, so you go like that and like that and like that, and then you go like that. It doesn't matter how many you, you twizzle it in, can be more at one end than the other end, whatever you fancy. Depends how much you, you know, it's unlikely to be identical, isn't it? Probably have a lot more at one end because you're still rolling. Good though, isn't it? Right, so this is all the time we've been doing this, right? It's clockwise, isn't it? Clockwise swirls. And then what happens is when you do clockwise swirls, there's, it's on this side. So now, let's try it again. But this time we'll do anti-clockwise. So ignore what you've just done. And this time, instead of going clockwise, just go anti-clockwise. Okay? <laughs> God, I know. For a Monday morning. Hang on. Let's just stop a minute. <laughs> so we've been going clockwise, and now we're going to go anti-clockwise. But first of all, before we do that, we're going to have a cup of tea. We need to be traveling gently through this day and this week and this month, don't we? Hey. God, that's lovely. How are you feeling? How are you? What about me? How are you? You doing okay? Yeah? It will be all right, you know, all this. We just have to just take take time. Let time take its take care of it for us. We can't push the river, as they say, you know, rushing out and you know what's right for you. I, I felt it yesterday because it was the first time I'd really been in, in with a lot of pe a lot of people, if you like, you know, and um, and it was okay. They were very very respectful and it was fine. But it's just it's that initial it's that initial leap, isn't it, into into society again. You know, only you can know how comfortable you are and what pace you want to take it at. Nobody can dictate that to you. Nobody can tell you, you know, now, just because they say now it's safe to go into a football stadium with, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, 10,000 people, 3,000, whatever. Even if it was 30 people, if you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. 
But we have to, yesterday I had to sort of get over myself a bit. And I don't mean that in a weird way. I mean, I had to just do it, you know, because I was talking myself in fear was getting the better of me. And I thought, just do it, girl. You know, you got both jabs for crying out loud. What's up with you? What's up with you? I said, Gray, get in there. <laughs> and then when I was there, it was fine. Everybody kept their distance. Everybody kept their masks on, you know. Everybody was comfortable with it. It's fine. And I was probably the only one in the building there and had both jabs. I was certainly the oldest one. <laughs> I don't think there was anyone else there that was my age. But a bloody dinosaur. <gasps> Sorry, let me swear. <laughs> Hush my mouth. Right. Okay, so now we're going anti-clockwise, all right? Come on, back in the saddle. Brakes over. Back on your heads. Ready? And she clicked camera number two, please. So we've gone clockwise and now we're going to go back the other way. So let me concentrate a minute. So this time we're going to go anti-clockwise. One, two, one, two. All righty. And then we'll make um, our... See what we're doing now is we're flipping it the other way, aren't we? I know, clever stuff. So now this one's going to be the same as that one. There you go. So that's got to be like that. So we've turned it round. See, this is an easier one because the scroll now has been flipped to the back. Check it out. Right? And all because we went in a different direction. I know. Clever, isn't it? There you go. So, 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 so this one, the rolls are on the front. And this one, the rolls are on the back. Let's do the anti-clockwise one again. That's all you've got to remember. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. And then it, it does it by itself. You don't even have to overthink it. Clockwise brings the rolls to the front. Anti-clockwise takes the rolls to the back. Well, that's what I think anyway. But don't, you know, don't hold me to it. Okay, you ready? This time what we'll do is we'll do one to the back. We'll do an anti-clockwise one. But we'll get that perspective on it again like we did here. See what that looks like. Ready? Uh... Right, anti-clockwise, get your head in. Right, one, two, and round we go, and one, two. Okie dokie. Then we'll bring that one down like that, but this one's only going to be that short. It's going to be a real sweepy one. This will be nice. So I'm going to go sweep through like that. Bingo. Right, one, two, three, four. One, two. The more you do of these... It's like most things in life. The more you do, the better you get. And the better you get, the more you want to do. Look, this is really cool. You know what? I can see an alphabet emerging here, people. This would be so nice, look. Can you see alphabets with this on the end? Doesn't that look pretty? And now you can take, let's call it National Positivity Day. It isn't. It is in, it's got to be in my head, though. When I'm tired... I don't know about you. When I'm tired, I, I, I've got to be careful. Halt. Halt. H-A-L-T. I've probably said this to you before. H-A-L-T. Hungry, angry, lonely, tired. If I hit any one of those four buttons, the day could go both ways. So I know coming into today that I'm tough for tired. Am I hungry? Not really. Am I angry? No. Am I lonely? Never. Well, not never, that's not true. Sometimes I feel lonely, but I'm not. Hungry, angry, lonely, but I'm definitely tired. Mm. So be vigilant, you see. Be vigilant. And, and so because I know that, halt, I think, right, there's a solution there. I could go and have a nap. <laughs> that works. Um, if I'm hungry, I could eat something. If I'm lonely, I could phone a friend. And if I'm angry, I just need to give myself a stiff talking to. <laughs> but there have been occasions in the last year where I've hit all four buttons and I've been up on the ceiling wondering why I'm going crazy, you know. So it's a good one to have in your little, in your little skills for life toolbox, the halt button, you know, because it says exactly what you should do. Stop, think, what can I do to redirect that situation? It's not hard. It's not hard. It's always a practical solution there in there. Okay. And so today, I know I'm tired, and so uh, I think I, after we finish, I, I think I'd, I won't bother with 
work, I think I'll stop. You know, or I'll just put some nice music on and I'll clear away the <laughs> mess that is behind this camera. <laughs> all the stuff in the TV studios, that'll take me all day to put that back in its place. Maybe I won't bother. Maybe I'll just sit in the garden and play with the cats. You know, nice sunny day. I mean, you know, it's our choice, isn't it? It is. We do have choices. We do have choices. So always remember that. Right, sip of tea, and then we'll write a positive, and that's why I said this today is National Positivity Day, because if we think positive words, if we think positive thoughts, and we, we use positive words, then we've got to be headed in the right direction. I can't be saying loveliness and doing awfulness. It doesn't work like that. So what I was going to, the reason I'm saying that is because we could take a lovely word and, and put them in all these scrolls that we've just done. Words. Oh, do you know what? I'm having a, it's getting warm in here. It's getting warm. I'm going to have to take my top off. No, don't get excited. I'm not taking my top off. <laughs> get your kit off, Gray. No, 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 no. Just one layer. <laughs> yeah, that sounded worse than it was. Look. <laughs> Arms exposed. Oh no. Right. <laughs> Good. It's awful. Can you imagine if I click the camera back to number one? Ta -da! <laughs> that would have woken you up. <laughs> if you didn't speak all flakes out, then nothing would. Then you need the doctor. <laughs> Right, come on, Barbara, sort yourself out. Okay, I've got me, I've got my top off, and now we're going to write positive words into our banners, and then we're going to Camelot. Right, <laughs> glorious. That is a beautiful word. Glorious. Come on, think of some more words. Give us some words. Give us some words. Glorious, wonderful, beautiful, lovely. Glorious. I love the word glorious. I think glorious would fit in here nicely. Glorious. Let's have a look. Do I want to do it uppercase, lowercase? Ah, oh, choices, choices, choices. Glorious. Glor. Glorious. Oh, there's a U in there. Oh, I nearly forgot it. Right. Glory. Glorious. That would do. Right, now I can go heavy. Now I know what I'm doing. Glorious. Cool, I made a bit of a pig deal of that. That's all right, now at least I spelt it correctly. Yeah? See, this is only my template, isn't it? Try not to spit at your artwork, right? That doesn't help. Glorious. Glorious is good. What about wonderful? Wonderful is another good one. I'm going to go lowercase now. Wonderful. Wonderful. Getting smaller. Four. Nice. Come on, think of another good word. Glorious. Wonderful. Got any more good ones? Paul, got any suggestions? Is anybody suggesting anything really cool? Um, glorious. Wonderful. Ah. Uh, Beautiful. Beautiful. It helps just to... Can you feel when you start... It's the strangest thing. When you start thinking and verbalising positivity... Glorious, wonderful, beautiful. Ah, what else we got? Ros was has asked if you can do the end of the scroll again slowly. All right then, Roz. I'm happy to stay with the scroll again slowly. This one, just the one we've just done again, we'll go slowly, shall we? Come on, let's think of a good word then. This one here or this one here, Roz? This one, hey? All right, slowly does it then. Is that what you mean? Got to be a little bit more specific here, people. Right. We'll go again. Anti-clockwise, we'll do this one. Ready? 
one, two, and round we go. Stay down, don't come up, and then go back on yourself. One, two, there you go. So you're doing sausage, like sausage, look, that swells. Is that what you mean? And then once you've done that, then come down like that, so you decide now what you're establishing here, Roz, is how long you want each side to be. So I could bring this down to here and then it'll be a wide one. It's entire. It all depends. I could bring this one up and bring this one down and then it'll be small here. So these outer sides now, they're what are giving you the, they are what are giving you the, the size of the, Right, and then we're going to do the inside. Okay, we'll do the inside. Right, so now I've got my eye there, and I'm going to kind of mirror what I've got, and I'm up we come. There we are, see? So that's the mirror of that one. Now, Roz wants to be more specific about the, the swirl. Right, I'm going to get in really tight on this, Roz, and then I'll pan out again so that you can see it. So there's your Vien Viennese swirl. Okay, so now go to the outside and do the outside one. Then go to this outside and do that one. Is this right? Then go to this one and do that one. And then go to that one and do that one. So now what you've got is, if this was, if this was stripy paper, that would be the stripy part. And this would be the stripy part. You see? Yeah? So do this one. Go to the outside. Go to the outside, go to the outside, go to the outside, go to the outside. And that's how it works. Yeah? Let's do one of these ones. Let's do one of these. This is really good for learning anyway. So this time we're going clockwise. So we'll go one, two, round, one, two, go as many as you like. Yeah? This is a little bit more difficult. Because this time, the scrolls, the whole roll is on the outside. So we're going to go like that and like that again. These sides dictate the perspective. Mm -hmm. But this time, we have to bring this one with it because, of course, the roll is on this side now. And then we've got to give it the same, right? So you've got the same edge like that. Is this helping? Right. And then, of course... This is on the inside of the, this is going to be the paper, isn't it, round there. But I think what Ros is interested in is this bit here, isn't it, love? Right, so now you're going to go there. So pretend it's coming round. This is going to be the paper there, then in there, and then there. We'll do a bit of shading if you like. That will really make it clear. See? Is that okay? So when you do the shading on it, this is going to be here. Like, let's say that's that's the inside bit there, isn't it? And then this is going to be shadow, shading there, and that's going to be the outside edge. See? So that's going to be there. It's going to be darker. And then in here, of course, it's a bit darker. Let me think about this for a minute. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so this is going to be shadow there because it's inside there, and then the edge is a little bit. Then it's going to be shadow in there because, of course... It's gone in a bit further, isn't it? And then shadow in there again. See? Like that. I'm getting heavy-handed to try and really show it off. And then that's going to be dark as well in there, because that's, of course, shadow as well. Cool. Yes, that has helped. Well, good. I, we aim to please. So back to the positivity. I'm going to pan out a little bit. I hope that hope helped a little bit, Ros. It's really fun to do, actually. And the other thing is, it's like everything that we're doing here. It's very uh, mindful because you have to concentrate a little bit, you know. And that's all this is about, isn't it? It's that concentration, just having a having a play with a pencil and a piece of paper and working things out. It really relaxes me. So let's see what we've we got here. Glorious, wonderful, beautiful. Come on, come on, come on. Happy. Happy's a good one. Let's do a big, bold happy here. Happy. Hey. 
What about love? Love will fit nicely in that one. Love. That's nice. All you need is love. There you go. Love. Happy. Glorious. Magical, peaceful, harmony. Joyous and fabulous. Joyous is beautiful. Magical, peaceful. Peaceful is good. Let's do peaceful. Peaceful, tranquil. Tranquil is another beautiful one. See, it just gets smaller as you go up. There we are. So that has been a group exercise in positive thinking. <laughs> oh dear. I miss my vocation. Beauty. That's a lovely one as well. Oh, now I've got to do another one. They're quite quick when you get them, though. There you go. And you know, this is wonderful for children as well. I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not minimising it here, but it's very achievable for children. And they, when they see that it's like a scroll, like a ribbon, um, I think you'll find they really enjoy it. Let's try magical. Magical. Yeah. Because I've noticed on Facebook, so many of you play with your children and your grandchildren, which is super, isn't it? Really fabulous. I don't miss, I don't miss that much. You know, I do see that. And, uh, and I see that they're, they're into their groovy and nice. But this is all very, very achievable. And, you know, for little boys like treasure, our pirates, you know, and they could do a treasure hunt. And, oh, there's so much to do. There's so much to, to enjoy, really, with a pencil and a piece of paper, isn't there? And so on that happy scrolling note, let's, um, let's crack on with Camelot, shall we? Now, what I wanted to do, yeah, there's a couple of things I want to do. Let's get that one over there. What I want to do as well is because we're going to, we're going to, the bus has got to leave Camelot on Wednesday. It's got to go back in the depot. And then on Monday next week, I thought, before we start on Camelot, yeah, no, it's fine. Before we start on Camelot, I need to give you the heads up on what I want us to go, where I want us to go next week. And, um, and I, I know that so many of you have bought the poppet postcards, you know, so many of you have bought the poppet postcards. We haven't looked at them for ages, ages. So I thought, we'll have a little look at these, right? Because they're so nice to Because I thought this would be nice. Having been to Camelot now for, this is day nine. <laughs> That's nearly four weeks, isn't it? Yeah, nearly five weeks we've been in Camelot now. That'll do. That'll do. Don't get. So what we're going to do, I thought next week we'll have a nice, short, snappy little two-day, Monday, Wednesday. And then the following week we'll have a couple of little short, snappy little excursions, you know, a little day out <laughs> rather than an expedition to the promised land, okay? Not you want to go there right now. Anyway, so I thought the poppets would be really good. And if you don't know what I'm talking about... Let me show you what we've done. When you do the poppets, we got whimsy, we got flower, and we got Christmas. And many of you will already have these because many of you have joined me. And what we've got always, we've got like, there are, how many are there? Six different designs in each pack. So these are the Christmas ones, for example. But we always, we give you this lovely quality. This is a stencil card, so it can take water as well. And they're printed already by Marina Fe We've printed them. They're Marina Fedotova's artwork, licensed to us. So, And we've got permission to make cards to sell. So if you do make cards to sell or for charity, then in small, reasonable quantities, we're allowed to do that. Large image, small image. The idea was that we could take the large images and, and in improve our colouring skills. And then the small images, that was more for the doodling idea. So let me show you what we, you know, so you can add a background. So this was the, the little girl we did the Christmas. Let me show you a couple of the ones we've already done. So that was the little girl, the Christmas girl. What a beautiful Christmas card that would make. And then what we did was, though, we did a little bit of that positive and negative idea. And we, we, we made her pop by focusing on the blue in the background. 
yeah? Which is really fascinating because this was very similar, the idea behind it to the stamps that were on the telly yesterday, the art blocks that sold out. You know, it's that whole, I love that negative art where the background makes the white image come to life, you know. So so having a look at, so that was the Christmas ones. Um, then what else we got? Flower ones. Right, so this is, I just put to the front what we've already done. So we coloured her in, which is really nicely done. Okay, let's look up close, shall we? Right, so we coloured her in. But then what we did was with the smaller one, we took the smaller one, well, hey, and we doodled a landscaping around her in keeping with Mar Marina's own sort of line art. Paul will be able to give you, if you if you didn't know where these were, we'll put together a playlist so that you can find these. And then the third one, this was the whimsy one. This was cool. This was the one we did last. I really enjoyed this. So these are the little fairies, right? But then do you remember, Cor, we, we did that. Do you remember we, we put those with the stencil, the shape stencils? We did the hearts and then the circles. So we made a background. That was really cool as well, wasn't it? We used watercolour. So, so that was where we went. And the thing about these little, these little pieces of artwork, they're quite bite-sized, aren't they? They don't take so long because the artwork's already there for you. So if you want to get these, Paul will give you the link. If you've already got them, this is what we're going to use next week. I don't know which one yet. I haven't worked out. I'm not that involved. I'm not that well prepared. I know that I want to do this, but I don't know what exactly we're going to do with them. But that's... Oh, I've got another week yet. <laughs> got to pace myself. Um, so, but you can get two for the price of three. So it's a real, real deal. Um, if you haven't got them, get them. And then that's what we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. I think so. You know, just to, just to do little day, little day excursions, pack a sandwich, get a flask, go out for the day, come back again, nice and safe. Okay. Um, and so that's what we're going to do. That's all I wanted to tell you. And now we're going to crack on with our Camelot. And where were we? Right, we've done so much. I wanted to concentrate on the horses a little bit. You up for that? Should we do a little bit of horse work? We've done enough horsing around today. Let's get my little scraps out, my bits and pieces. Oh, I've got loads. Let me just get my, my preppy bits out. Here they are. Right, horses. Oh, no, it's all about to... Well, oh, cool. So what I wanted to do, I thought, look, we've got the black knight and the white knight. I decided that I was going to go black and white, but it's up to you. Not black and white, but there's definitely a dark horse and a light horse, a white horse and a black horse. And what they're wearing, the blankets, that's up to you. This is going to be the black one because I made a bit of a holix of his, um, the bit around his mouth. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um... And what we're going to do now is decorate these blankets and the guys on them. And you can see that I've already, I started, I put a cross on there. I thought that looked quite nice. That looks very, very Camelot, doesn't it? Medieval. And I do love a little bit of, there's quite a lot of that goes on in, um, in Camelot. Do you see I made a little bit of a, a start on the background as well of the of the marquee of the tent? Um, we can see if we do a little bit of that as well. But let's get the patterns in place on the horse. So we're going to draw a, a cross first. I've already done mine on there, so let's I can do it on here though. So if you if you first of all just establish where your cross is going to be, like that. Okay, so there, 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 and there. That's your cross. Oh, I know, I've got another one there. Yeah? And then what we're going to do is on the top of each of these... Can you see this okay? I feel that I'm miles away nowadays. All right, come on. It can be done. Right. So you've got choices. If you, if you want to, you can make this cross look like that, like that, with two with dots at either end, solid black looks lovely too okay you don't have to 
overcooking. Or you could make a little make little arrows at the top like that. Make little arrows at either at all four ends. Yeah. And then what you're going to do, see I've gone in again like that. So you make the arrow like that and then you go in. Arrow, in. Arrow, in. Arrow, in. Like that. Now you've gone in, then you join. Join the in bits. See? Done. Piece of cake, right? And then you can always come out a little bit. There you are. Make, make your arrows at the end a bit bigger if you want to accentuate them. And there we are. And there's your medieval emblem. And then, of course, once you've penned it, it ha provided you've got enough room, you can put another little cross inside it. So that's that one. That looks quite good, doesn't it? So let's do that one. And then what we'll do as well, which is always useful, is to use a pencil first. I'm going to just, there's a bit of a round, it comes like that, and then like that, and I'm going to make a, a line like that. I just want to make a little border around the blanket or the, the mantle or whatever you want to call it, like that. I'll do it with pencil first, though. I don't want to, don't want to mess it up. And then I'm going to make boxes. I like the boxes. They're easy, like that. And then they get smaller as they curl in. Ah, oh, I'll do. Do it in pencil. And then I want to make a little dot in each one, just like that. Black dot. Once I've done it in pencil, I shall go back in. That looks nice, nice pattern, bit of contrast, see? Hey? Yeah, you don't want to overcook it, but by the same token, we've got to decorate them somehow, haven't we? So we've got that one. Then over this side, I've done the checker on that side, but what would also be quite good on this one would be, um, like if there was, it was, they ran out of materials. They had to join two bits of material together on this one. So this one's like that, and then it comes round like that. There you go. So we've got a line going there. You could up, you could actually make it... Oh, bra, bra. Where's me? Rubber. Make it kind of go a little bit more with the flow of that. Yeah? Oh, I've got red on me rubber that'll do this is a vehicle you see this whole thing here to me has been just learning is that i'm not gonna once you've done it once i don't reckon it take anywhere near as long to do it again because you've got you it's like your prototype isn't it if you wanted to do it again so now i've done i've got that I'm going to make a second line. See, it's quite kind of easy. There we go. Just just add some patterns or whatever you fancy. I think that looks quite good because you've got all the, all the accents in this area here. And then along this line here, um, I think I might do that um, so that it kind of ties in with that one. So that's going to be black going through there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here's pantaloons. I think we're going to give him some stripes on there. So we've got a colour of him in yet. And then this fella, I think we'll put stripes on his, on his armour like that. That looks better. You don't want to overcook it. You can always add it, but you can't take it away. That'll do. That'll do. And then we're going to pen it. So back to your, your micron pens. I, I think I took every single one up to the studio. Oh, here they are. 
here we are. Got a double out of five. Double out of five will have to do then. Okay. What am I writing on here? I've got a bit of scrap. Make sure it's scrap before you go right. <laughs> yeah, that's my scrappy one. Right, just checking my pen. Okay, time to pen. We call cool this. There we go. Yeah, I think it'll be nice next week to um, have a couple of day days out. Hey, don't you? I uh, I don't really have any desire to go far from home right now, and that's fine. That's what you know. Got to live and let live. If somebody wants to go abroad, then then that's their prerogative, you know. But um, not for me right now. There we go. So we're just going to pop this in here. Live and let live. I think that's the key. You know, there's no point in getting angry about what other people are doing because they're not doing what you think they should be doing. It's not going to make a blind bit of difference. You think they're going to go, oh, hang on a minute. Barbara doesn't agree with what I'm doing. I better cancel that flight. <laughs> live and let live. Just let me get on with it. Just make sure you're safe, eh? There's no point in getting angry about it. Won't change a damn thing. Now, here's the question. Well, I little dot in there as well. It's going to be lovely when we colour him in. Oh, hang on, let me get his armour right. Um, there you go. Oh, and his pantaloons. Yeah. I've really enjoyed this, actually, this project. Because it's like so many projects in one. Is that bit. You know, that's what we're working on now. Then there's that bit. You know, it's like two different places, isn't it? Right, so I've done the artwork on that one, done the artwork on that one. Shame about that, a bit of a cock up there, but that's all right. I'm, I'm going to, you'll never notice it. It's just me pointing it out. But that's what we do, isn't it? We make a mistake and then we, all we see is what we've done wrong. <laughs> I think it's the nature of the crafter. So I've done that and I've done that. And then I've got to let it dry for a minute before I erase the pencils in the background, haven't I? So while I'm waiting for the ink to dry, I'll show you, should I show you, come on, pottery, potter, potter, pottery, pottery. I want to show you, remember when I did the experimental haul the other, the other, um, the other week? I wanted to show you this particular one. Everybody has their favourites, don't they? This was my like real favourite set, I'll show you. Anyway, artwork drying. Are you interested in this? Well, I'm going to show you anyway. <laughs> right, look. So these ones, they they are um, just plain, and I put black iron oxide on the outside. See, just smeared it. So I I, I took a paintbrush and I put it on the wheel, and then I just ran it round, and that's just sort of randomly, okay. But then on the inside, I don't know if you can see this, I put some crackle glaze. I don't know if I get up close whether you can see the crackle. Can you see the crackles? Yeah? Really came out well. And when it was crackling, you could hear it because I, I was impatient. So I went into the kiln when it was still not hot, too hot to touch. But as I brought it out into the cold air, I could hear it crackling like, uh, like, like Rice Krispies. Snap, crackle, pop, snap, crackle. Pop. It was lovely. Um, but this is the interesting thing. Once you use, so it's a special glaze that you use to make the crackle, right? And and so you've got all the crackle in there. And then what you do, because that's that's all right, but I mean, it's not dramatic. So I've got these two. I've got three all together. 
right? The, uh, this is me trying to get pots that are the same. Okay, not that easy. Easy to make one-offs, easier, but it's very difficult to get two that are exactly the same. So I've got the kind of the, the right angle on them. Do you see what I mean? And the bottoms are not bad. One's a little bit bigger than the other one, see? But, you you know, for handmade, they're not, they're not, they're not computer pumped out. They're not, they're not, they're not factory, are they? They're, they're hand. But what you do is you smear a colorant into here. So, for example, uh, I used ink. I'm going to show you in a minute. I used ink to bring out the, the, the crackle. But if you're, if you're, if you wanted to use these to drink coffee out or tea out of, right, or, or cereal, I mean, you know portion control and all that <laughs> that might be my answer um if you if you want to use these to eat out of or drink out of then you can stain it with coffee or with tea i used ink just because and this one i just think this looks so cool watch so i don't know if you can see now if i go to this camera um can you see the crackle in there now it's just superb. I don't know if you can see that very well. Yeah? But it just, it looks so lovely. And what you do is, you put this black ink, so it's completely black inside, and then it was a bit of a mess, and then you wipe it back, and wipe it, wipe it back, wash it out, basically, but the, it stains the cracks. And that's how you end up with, if you compare, that's how, that's how it brings the crackle to life, which I really love. I think that looks, I think that looks really, really classy. And I like the black in the side because it kind of goes with that. Um, and it looked exactly the same as that before I, I finished it. So that's cool. Yeah. So there you go. That was what I wanted to show you was my crackle pots or bowls. Yeah. What joy. Um, and, uh, and that's maybe where I shall go this afternoon. Now, what's the time? 10 to, I think we've got time now to just rub out and do a little bit of colouring on our horses. Yeah. There you go. Let's just rub out the pencils now. So you've got to wait for the ink to dry, otherwise it will just smear. Just lightly take the rub, the rubber, the eraser, and just knock out the, the pencil lines that you made. Then you can see what you've got as well. Okay. Now tomorrow, big treat tomorrow, um, Paul is going to be running Groovy Tuesday, and he's got a special guest appearance. Linda Williams is going to be joining him in the uh, in the shack on on Tuesday at 10 o'clock, isn't she, Paul? So that'll be great, and um, I'm sure it'll be fun. And Linda will be joining Paul all the way from Wales. Lovely Linda. So it'd be great to see her again. We had a bit of a glitch last week. We were going to try it last week, but we just couldn't get the electric sorted out. It's, um, you know, it's not that easy kind of bringing people in from different parts of the country. Once we get this right, then, you know, it's going to be super. And, and hopefully I'll be able to in, have guests as well. You know, that'd be great. Can't wait to be able to do that too. So, yeah, I think it's just nice, isn't it? Nice to see other faces. Right, so I've done my, my horses. And now I think I'm going to start with a white pencil. And I'm going to, which horse did I decide was going to, I think because of this little Horlix here, not sure which one shall I do that's the black one and that's the white one okay so let's get the horses done first and I'm going to make this horse a little well white's a bit strong I'm going to make him uh like a they're beautiful the sort of dapple the dapple gray horses but let's get the white layer down yeah what about you are you going to go black and white or are you going to It's up to you, it's your horse. You know what we always say. There are, there are no judges in this building. 
and there are certainly no experts. Not today. Right, so I've got a white horse, that's quite easy. Okay. And then now the black one. I'm going to go with a dark grey. I'm going to go with a dark grey. I can always go black afterwards. So I'm just going to use a dark grey pencil just so that I know what I'm looking at when I do it. Now, this is going to look all right, though. Right, grey. That's that. Got to keep it simple, you know. If you if you if you miss the first nine sessions of this, <laughs> you missed the first eight sessions. Sorry. Um, we do have a digital download of the horse shapes. Didn't we did that right at the beginning? Do you remember? It's funny how we started with the horses and we ended on the horses. There you go. Okay, black horse and white horse for sure. Right, so this is definitely grayscale. That's cool. Now, let me take the black pencil. I've got a black pencil here. What about you? I've got a white pencil that's really sharp, that's handy, and I've got different shades of grey, 50 shades of grey, that's that polychromo set that's so cool, um, and I've got a black one from the Pergoliners as well, that's good, that'll do, and then I'm going to use black now over the top of the grey as the shadow, as the shader, so that's going to get shadow in there. I think his hooves are definitely going to be grey, black. That's it. Can always add a little flash of white afterwards if we feel the need, can't we? So we're going to use the black to just add the shadow. Right. Yeah. What are you going to do today? Have you got anything good lined up? Hey? Have a good day, you know, make your mind up. Something's getting on your pip or something's irritating you or you're ha ha hangry or angry or lonely or tired or upset with somebody or someone's got under your skin. Let it go. I know sometimes that's easier said than done. But just decide today you're going to have a good day. And just let it go, you know. Just... Enjoy your day. And whatever, whatever is going on, do you know what? It's not going to go away. It'll still be there tomorrow. So just leave it today. Just park it. And then, and then tomorrow's another day. Maybe it'll look a little bit better tomorrow. Now, what are we going to do with that eye? Have a look. Because he's a dark horse, isn't he? Let's get that eye going. Oh, yeah. Right, we want the grey for the eye. Let me just put a light grey in. I just want to check something. Yeah. Don't want to go too dark, otherwise you're going to end up with a big black blob right in the middle. So I'm using the outside to create the eye, really. Here we go. Better. Let's put a little bit of light grey in that one. There. So, And we're going to use the outside where the white is. To create a little bit of depth around the eye. This is a dapple grey, isn't it? Lovely horse. That'll do. Let's use a bit of grey again in the shading area. Yeah, so what are you going to do? Have you got anything nice planned? If you haven't, make a plan. I definitely need to have a plan of some description. I need to, you know, have something in mind. Because otherwise, the day's gone and I haven't done anything, you know. Even if it's just sitting, doing nothing, at least I need to make a decision to sit and do nothing. Got some designing I need to do. Got some drawing I need to do. I've got that planned. I don't know if I'll do it today, though. It's on my list. Do you still run off lists? Lists are very important for me. 
I do need lists. And I find the older I get, the more I need the list. I, uh, I definitely do need the list. So we're getting a little bit of grey going round, you see. So he's definitely a white horse, but he's not snowy, is he? He's not. There you go. So this is all blanket, all this lot, see. That's why this is quite easy. <laughs> so horse is all covered up. Now let's get some real whiteness going. Another layer of white. Hey. Yeah. Now blankets. Oh, don't press so hard, Barbara. That's it. Now let me see. I think this one, I want to do this one in 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 the in the home colours. <laughs> there you go. I want to do that one in the home colours. So I think this is going to look really nice. Now I'm just going to do an undercoat of red. And I don't want to rush it. God, not after all this. But I want to do, I think, I know what I want to do. I want this to be red. I think this will look good. This whole thing's going to be red. Really lightly. I think I'll do him in red. Yeah, it's going to look nice. Because it's got to be a bit tone in tone. So I'm going to do him in red like that. Red and white, really nice. And grey. That'll look good. Okay. What about you? Have you got any other ideas? If I do that in red, and then and then this one here, let's get a bit of yellow going over here though. So this one, I think I'll go, I'll do this top of the, where I divided it. See, that's the thing about division, you see, you can do split colours. So that could be yellow, that bit there. The inside could be yellow of this. The inside of this one could be yellow, like that. For sure. This bit here could be yellow. All these bits. Yeah. That could be yellow. That'll look good. And then this one, because we've got a bit of red and yellow over here. And then this one here. I wonder, do I want to make this bit red, do you think? Well, there's only one way to find out. So I think that'll look quite good. If this bit's red... Hey. Yeah. How are we doing for time? It can't be already. But it is. So. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Oh, yellow in the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tone this right down though with greys. So I know it looks a little bit gaudy at the moment but it's just establishing where where what colors go in and once I've done that then I'm gonna I'm gonna tone this right down because that red's a little bit too what isn't it way too red very regal though have we decided who these two fellas are yet I think one's Sir Lancelot hmm He's got his eye on the Queen, hasn't he? Look, she's definitely looking at him. Yeah, yeah. This is Sir Lancelot. Hero, not a hero. Scoundrel, eh? <laughs> yeah, you've got to have a bit of imagination. Right, so I'm going to definitely get into the shading thing here. Yeah. This is going to look nice when it's done. You've got to take your time. Go in layers. Pergoliners, B pencils, or polychromos, what I'm using now. It's up to you. See, under his rump, it's going to be a bit darker, isn't it? There you go. 
yeah you can see it's going to look good when it's done and if i want if i think it looks a little bit too bright red like he's never had an outing before i can always take that other red because i know there was another red i don't know where it is but i could take a darker red and just tone that down a bit which i think is what i'm going to do so and you know the other thing is of course we've got the silver and the copper and the gold pencils in that set of 12 see so i'm thinking the silver i haven't finished yet but i reckon yeah absolutely bang on you know that set of 12 you you got you invested in the polychromos the grays well of course they come with the metallics don't they and i'm just gonna let me just do this because this is going to be the game changer on this one let me show you so he is going to have the silver one and we'll just and it's quite astounding how a pencil can give you so much metallic and just it's getting quite thin up the top there so you've got to make sure that you've got a real nib there you go so I'll just do the silver one. I'll leave you with the silver one. Paul will give you the links if you need these pencils. Needs. Needs and wants, my friends. Needs and wants. But these metallics are pretty good. See that? That's pretty impressive. Look, very metallic, isn't it? On the polychromo. Eh? I know. Impressive. Very impressive. And I think this one, I wonder, I want to see yet. I think I might go, do I want to go, I'm going to check that out, I haven't decided yet. Am I going to go gold, pressing hard, or am I going to go copper? See, let me show you, it's impressive. Look, gold, silver, copper, and then you can decide. Let me just show you, let me come over this camera and then I'll leave, it. I'll leave you with that thought. See, look, gold, copper. Can you see that, or am I just fiddling about? Let me just get it right. No, you can't see that. I can tell you can't. But there we are, gold, silver, and copper. Cray, what's wrong with you? You're doing so well. Is it my eyes, or am I... My eyes are dim, I cannot see. There you go. Silver, copper and gold. So I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this one. I'll do it on a bit of scrap first. But the silver, definitely, he's in. Gold or copper, not sure yet. I'm going to do all the horses first and then decide. So if you've got these, get them out. That's what I say. And on that happy gold, silver and bronze note, I shall love you and leave you. Go and find the cats. Go and sit in the garden and just chillax. So have a lovely day. Enjoy it. Enjoy today. Enjoy today. In the words of Doris Day, it's later than you think, which sounds really awful, but it is so true. You know that song? I'm going to put a worm in your ear. Uh, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Do you know that one? Do, 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 do. And you're still in the pink. Cool, that's a bit flat grey. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As quickly as a wink. Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. <laughs> Lots of love. Thanks again, Paul. 